Good book. Very. Voltaire, sir. I found it in the woods. Pity there's only a few pages. What? You found it in the woods? Where? Under the colonel, sir. That could be a cord book, couldn't it? Could be. But I don't have the book. It was all bloody. I could only save a few pages. Well, where is it? I'll be back soon, lads. And when I come back, I want you in my bed. I mean, I'll sleep out here, like. Right. Hope you damn well know what you're doing, Sharp. Some people back in London get very picky about playing games with parole. Can we start, sir? French Colonel's tunic, sir. Put it on. Mettez-la. Perfect fit, sir. Now, put this on. This is supposed to be his own tunic, sir. The one he put under the so-called colonel's head. See, sir? His own tunic doesn't fit. But the colonel's fits him perfectly. I believe this man is really Colonel LaRue, of the French Imperial Guard. I believe he murdered his captain in the woods and changed clothes with him. I would like to plead with this court of honour to revoke this man's parole until Major Monroe returns from Burgos, sir. Well... In just a moment, sir, the prisoner would like to say something in his own defence through me. Of course. Carry on, Jack. Écoutez. Je ne suis qu'un soldat qui fait son devoir. I'm a soldier, I do my duty, I love my country. Un jour, mon commandant m'a dit qu'il y avait un colonel de Paris qui voulait aller en patrouille. One day, my commanding officer tells me that I must take um, a colonel from Paris on patrol. Juste pour se vanter devant ses amis d'avoir vu la frontière. So that he can um, boast to his friends that he has seen the frontier. J'y suis allé, on s'est retrouvé dans les bois, vous êtes arrivé. I go there, I'm in the woods, you come. Et vous avez tué mon colonel. You kill my colonel. Vous vous demandez pourquoi mon uniforme ne va pas. Well, you ask me why my uniform doesn't fit. Je pourrais vous dire que c'est parce qu'il a rétri sous lavage. I could say it is because it has shrunk in the wash. Mais la vérité. But the truth is. C'est que cette tunique ne va pas parce qu'elle m'a jamais été. My tunic does not fit me now because it did not fit me before. Vous savez, je, je suis qu'un pauvre petit capitaine de Lyon. Moi. I am a poor captain from Lyon. J'ai deux tuniques. I have two tunics. La meilleure est à la caserne. My best tunic is back at the barracks. Et l'autre, celle qui m'a jamais été. Uh, my other tunic, the one that never fit me properly. Elle est là, devant vous. Is here before you. C'est tout ce que j'ai à vous dire. Well, that's all I have to say. Ah, Excusez-moi. <coughs> What a cock and bull story. You're not going to believe that Codswell pay, Colonel. Because I'll tell you what, Major Munro won't believe it, and that's for sure. Major Munro is not in charge of this court, Sharp. If 
we've had your say, this poor devil has had his, and he strikes us as a simple serving soldier who did his duty, as you and I must do ours, Sharp. We will continue to accept his parole until we get to Via Franca. Major Munro can make up his own mind. Agreed. This court is no longer in session. Congratulations, Jack. Let's have a cognac. <laughs> Stay for a drink, Sharp. No, sir. I swallowed enough French crap for one night. Sorry, Richard. Uh, devil's advocate, you know. You did it damn well, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Now, be a good chap and bugger off. Hmm? C'est fini. Sword, that. I love it when you're dead. Thank you. What were you going to do with it? Kill old Mirador? <laughs> Shooter on the head. That's my share. That's my louse trap, and you can play there. Louse trap, lookers out, snot a box, chinny chop, breastplate, navel string, a thigh, a thack, a knee, an ack, a toe, a triple of my dear. The more I love my lover draws near. Alice. Sir. That book you burned, Harris. Have you read it before? Candide, sir. Oh, yes. Quite a well-known book by Voltaire. Good book. Oh, yes, sir. A satire. At first reading, it purports to be a picaresque romance. But to the educated eye, it's more of a satire on the morals and manners of society. Ooh. Tell me something funny from it. Well, you see, sir, the hero keeps on saying, everything's for the best, in the best of all possible worlds, at the most inappropriate of times. Yeah. Take my advice, Harris. When you get back home, write a bloody good book with loads of shooting in it. And you'll die a rich man. That Candide. You said it's a common book. Very common, sir. So if you had another like it, you could figure out the code. Very likely. If I had another like it. There'll be a library in Villa Franca, Harris. Nothing I should like better, sir. We'll get the bastard yet. <laughs> 